Oh my gosh, what are you laughing at? Tell me. <laughs> Andrew, did you see that lady there in the glasses? What's, what, just tell me, what are you laughing at? <laughs> well, tell me. You gotta tell us. Well, we were just like, no, we, he was doing this whole thing. We're off having the, fun. <laughs> this is fun. He was like doing this whole announcing thing on the side. <laughs> and it was really good. Oh my God, they got to subtitle our show to be entertaining. <laughs> I was telling them during the commercial break that when we were kids, you know, we did the caption contest, that my mom and dad, we'd be driving in the station wagon. We'd pull up to the car next to us and my mother would say, what do you think everybody in that car is talking about? And we would do all their voices. And we just thought it was hysterical entertainment. Apparently, they're doing my voice. <laughs> where, are you, are, where are you folks from? Well, originally, believe it or not, from Chicago, but oh. we live here. So, go Cubs. Oh, there you go. That's great. Well, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming by to see us. That's really nice of you. Are you a couple or are you cheating? No, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Hi. This is, this is Bonnie. What's going on? Now, who's to this side? <laughs> Whose love child is she? My daughter-in-law. I'm her daughter-in-law, and this is her daughter-in-law. And, uh, and, and how does this I man fit in? People. <laughs> They're really nice. <laughs> We're just having fun. I know. I, I know you're fun, sir. I'm glad, and I don't know what the heck was in your cupcake, but I want one. Okay, our next big guest got her big break. Thanks, Andrew. Don't hurry, honey. That's all right. They know what I look like. Uh, our, next big break, our next big break. Our next guest got her big break in the TV series Friday Night Lights. She's currently starring in the feature film Legion. Please welcome Adrian Palicki. <laughs> Friday, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Office is a buzz because we have a lot of Friday Night Light fans. Awesome. Yeah. It's a great show. I know. My niece Ashley literally would plan her time around it and couldn't wait for the next episode. Come into the office the next day and yep, yep, yep about it with all, everybody else here. How did you get the role on that? Did you, were you like, oh, golden? You no, know, actually, it's a funny story. When I first read the script, Peter Berg actually wrote it mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't really well written and it was, uh, <laughs> sorry, Pete. That's okay, you could sit with that guy in the yeah, audience. Exactly. <laughs> We're just having fun, right? We're just having fun. Um, and, uh, and it was based on, you know, football, and it was uh, also based on a movie. And I was like, those two things don't ever work on television. So I was like, I don't even want to do this. Um, I went into the audition, had another audition at the other side of town, and got a call that Peter Berg wanted to meet me that day. They were testing every other character, and they wanted to meet me right beforehand. And I was like, I'm never going to make it. My parents happened to be in town. And uh, they're like, no, we can make it. We can make it. My dad was driving, and he oh. flew us across town. And I went and I met with Peter Berg, and I was in there for about a half hour. And uh, the next day, I was testing at studio. Oh, wow. Yeah. And were your folks, so they were here with you when this all happened? Yes. What was that like? It was fun. It was great. I bet. I had to celebrate with them. Yeah. I kind of feel like if I'm going to book a part, I either have to get a, a plane ticket home or have them out here. They're your, they're your good luck charms. They are my good luck charms. And the home is the Midwest? Yes. So you grew up in the, where'd you grow up exactly? Toledo, Ohio. Wow. <laughs> yes? Wow. They're all out there throwing okay. back. <laughs> uh, you know, Toledo. I did that earlier. <laughs> exactly. Liquid breakfast. Tell us about Legion now. This is your eight months pregnant. I'm eight months pregnant. Not you, Speak the about, character. you know, talk about birth control, as you were talking about before. Well, you got to get that lucky rabbit's foot. You know, exactly. <laughs> Nine out of ten times, it doesn't work. <laughs> do you, so, uh, how do you like playing pregnant? You know, that's what I mean. It was like, I had to wear a ten-pound pregnancy suit for a month and a half. Real thing, but it was awful. Really? Did yeah. You, yeah. Except for the way I was treated by men. It was really interesting. Oh, you noticed the difference? Oh, yeah. I had doors opening for me. Can I get you anything? Tyrese would always come up and talk to me and rub my stomach. <laughs> I was like, why can't I feel this right now? Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 At least you're honest. He's a sexy Did you ever man. think about just turning around really quickly? <laughs> 
Great plans. I got big plans. Um, so you have a clip from Legion. Can you set it up? Because I, I wouldn't know how to sure. set it up. Okay. Sure. Um, so I have given birth to the Messiah, and this is post-birth. And uh, Kate Walsh's character decides that if she gives up the baby, everybody will be saved. So she kidnaps my baby in hysteria, and I'm trying to get the baby back. I mean, it looks fascinating. Okay, here we go. Here's a clip from Legion. Mom! Roger, come, come. What are you doing? You heard what he said. They just want the baby. I'm going to give them the baby, and then they're going to let us you go. You give it back to me right now. Why? You didn't even want him in the first place. Night Lights next, next season? Yes, I have been asked to come back and hopefully that will work out. I'd love to. I'd love to. I was supposed to do it this past season, but I was shooting a film that wouldn't yeah, be it. The schedules coincided, so I wasn't able to go back. Well, that'll be exciting. Yes. You'll be able to come back and do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for You're having a me. Joy to, to really fun. Thank you. Still ahead, the man responsible for Heidi Montag's plastic surgery, Dr. Frank Ryan. But it's did sort of she like, need liposuction? I mean, really? It's not. She didn't. She's a size zero. Of course not. But liposuction. But, but you did liposuction a size zero girl. That's what they're calling. Like, we were you afraid fat. she might disappear and just be a head when you were done? <laughs>